think another big reason that I'm going through this is to gain an understanding of what's important and what's not important. I, I have not done anything particularly great in my life, but I have accomplished some goals. And I was talking to my daughter recently about the simplicity of life. And uh, another person that I know about the complexities of life. In reality, the idea of getting to know God is so that I can be a better congregant, a better person to the whole. It's not really for me. It's not really about getting to know God so that, you know, I can create some grand scheme. It's getting to know God so that I can be the best version of me as possible playing my part for what God gives me favor to do. I can do nothing in and of myself without the favor of God. Um, you know, I mean, to get scriptural about it, God brings up kings, tear kings down. I mean, you know the story. A lot of you do. Now, for my kids, my grandkids, and my brothers and sisters in Kenya, my brothers and sisters in Ghana, and whomever else this will be a blessing to, God bless you all. If you've never heard some of these antidotes, these ways of looking at the things, these testimonies, these scriptural references, this may be new to you. But for a lot of you, it isn't. Fitting it together and understanding the purpose is something that we don't spend a lot of time thinking about because we, we're, a lot of people are in their own personal pursuits to be successful. Personal gain. I'm entitled to it. God said he made all things for me to enjoy. True. But the idea is to glorify God and how you glorify God is winning the loss and how you winning, win the loss is by glorifying the aspects of God which draws men and women, of course, to him, to wanting to be a part of his kingdom. We still have a purpose. Sure, we're here to enjoy the cakes and the pies and the big houses and the cars and that sort of thing. But without purpose of drawing people in, if it's just for you to enjoy, <laughs> in doing so, and being part of something greater. I want to make sure that I have done the best I could to be the best I can be. For me, it's being a teacher of spiritual truths. That's my overall life's goal is to teach spiritual truths. It means I need to go through some things in my examples, I've shown you, or if you've listened to anything I've done, talked about it many times. Right now, one of my examples is Moses. Walked away from success to help others to become successful is a model. And if you don't think that's a model, okay. Jesus walked away from his success to help others become successful. Paul walked away from his success, what people call success, to help others. John sat on Patmos just teaching people. We have the wrong view of people. 
we think success looks a particular way and if they don't have success the way I think they should have success then I can't respect them. You would have a hard time with a carpenter's boy. <laughs> it tells you to eat his flesh because you haven't taken the time to read the manuscripts to understand what that means to understand the sacrifice and the idea of eating the flesh the priest the flesh the skin was for the priest the flesh was the burnt offering now of course we know that today in a lot of cases with the more mature Christians because we understand the typography the picture the idea today but how much more of them who was much closer to those actual blood sacrifices and some of them just made a choice not to follow the king or model themselves behind the kingdom of God because you got to give up your worldly ideals, thought processes. It can't be about you anymore. It can't be about you anymore. It has to be about bettering yourself to be more attractive to draw people into his kingdom. For real. Making the sacrifice being obedient, walking in the principles. Part of that is having an appreciation for the tribes, <laughs> not just the a tribe, not just the tribe of Judah. Christianity today focuses on the tribe of Judah because it was the line of Jesus. But the line of Ephraim was involved. So was the line of Ishakar. The line of Reuben. The line of Levi. Leviticus. Levi. That is his own book. Levi is Moses. Are these not to be honored as well? Are these not all members of the same body of Israel? The father being Jacob. They're not all called Christians. That didn't start until the New Testament. After the death of Jesus. So what do you call the disciples? An appreciation for all people means that we're willing to demonstrate the kingdom of God to all peoples. Making God the Father attractive to all people. But if we're on our high horse and talking about how right we are and how wrong everyone else is, you miss this opportunity. Numbers chapter 29, verse 1, it says, And in the seventh month of the first of the month, ye shall have a holy convocation. He shall do no servile work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. And ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor. It's not just talking to the Christians. It's not just talking to the tribe of Judah.
The idea is we get out of our holy heads and down to some practical ideas of how to unify. Starting with ourselves first. The practical idea of unifying is walking in demonstration of things like the Holy Convocation. It's not an exclusive club. It was open to everyone there, including those you would call a stranger that had adopted the practices of the hand of Moses. They left Egypt and walked with the children of Israel in different positions as strangers and as servants. The children of Israel also as slaves. Servants, I'm sorry, servants, servants. <laughs> there were very successful ones and there were very poor ones. They had adopted the ways of the Egyptian. Now, nothing against the Egyptians. They were also sons of God. We, 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 we celebrate those who amass physical, attained success that is measurable. Celebrate it. We reverence those like the Moses, um, the Davids, the Jesus, the Paul, the Apostles. We reverence people like that. We look down on others. You know, we'll, 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 we'll celebrate Isaac, not realizing Abraham had another son. Study to show yourself approved. This son had a promise from God. We've already gone through it, so study to show yourself approved. God has spoken to Abraham's, I guess she was a wife, and said to her, your son will be a great nation. Should we discount him as well? Just because he's not a Christian? God called him a great nation. People group. People group. Error. The Holy Convocation is so that everyone can get together under the same idea of the kingdom of God Do no servile work. Celebration. Right after that is another feast on the 10th day. This is the first day. But it's recognizing the coming together. There is not much in life in reality other than God and your neighbor. I've, I haven't done a lot of traveling, but I've, been, I've done enough traveling to know that first of all, the, the, where I live today is kind of paradise, Long Beach, California, today, uh, May of 2024. This is paradise. Uh, I haven't been to a place much more beautiful than California, and I've been a few places, just a few. I've been to a few states, a few countries. 
so far I haven't seen much better than where I already where I've been living for thirty years, off and on, thirty five years, off and on, thirty years probably solid. Long Beach, California, beautiful. Beach, sand, uh, tall buildings, multi million dollar buildings, multi billion dollar area. Uh, successful people, mixed area, beautiful homes, great golf courses. Every bell and whistle you can want is either here or not that far from here. So then now what? <laughs> the now what is the convocation? is taking what you learned from God himself through the hand of Moses and introducing it into the Holy Convocation and celebrating together, not based on the tribe's traditions, but based upon the tradition of the kingdom of God. Because if you're just going off tribal tradition, keep in mind, all these tribes coming out of Egypt had different traditions. It's the whole purpose of the book of Levi where Moses, who came in from Ethiopia and modeled the humble traditions of the kingdom of God or the hand of Moses, if you will, that was inspired by his relationship with God to get everyone on the same page, everyone celebrating the same convocations, the same feasts. The blowing of the trumpets, calling people together, whether it's leadership or the congregation. I didn't plan on introducing it this way, but okay, we can, we can go with this. Numbers chapter 29 is not the first time this has been talked about because keep in mind, after they rejected going into Canaan before, they were sent back to the Red Sea and now Moses is just spending more time teaching what was already taught. He's, he's, he's using a little less depth but he's calling the people forth to unify and while chipping away at moving into the kingdom of heaven. Because until the people are prepared to operate according to the kingdom of God, which is the hand of Moses, until they're willing to do that, and that can't be done unless there's consensus, unless there's unity, unless there's one tribe working with another tribe. His goal, he's already, he's already been pronounced dead. And I know we don't preach it from this standpoint in, in the tradition American, traditional American churches. This man has already been pronounced dead. He already knows he's dying. He already knows he's not going into the land. But he's still doing the work. You have to die. Or be willing to die. It's already been pronounced that Canaan, strike that, that Caleb is going in. Joshua is going in. In fact, Joshua is not only going in, he's going in and he's leading. He's already anointed Joshua as the leader. He's just training him. Caleb has already been announced. As going in. There's more to learn before I say that. And, El and Eleazar has already been announced. Son of Aaron being the high priest. Phineas has already been given the favor because Phineas is the son of, 
of uh, Eleazar, Phineas has already been given favor because of his dedication. The people along the way who didn't believe have already been swallowed up. And yet they still are having problems. But aren't giving up on the vision. Forward progress is still happening. They're still going to accomplish God's vision for their life, which is they're going back to Canaan. Our job is simple. Our job is just to walk in obedience, make the sacrifices. celebrate each other as we celebrate God. It's not to degrade. God does the judging. As we have seen here, when God calls Moses in and opens up land and, and big swaths of people drop in and the land closes up. That's God's way of saying, I got the judgment part. Your job is to have the feast, is to have the two lambs, is to have the burnt sacrifice, is to put away a tent for your lineage, the Omar, or the Omer, as we probably trying different ways of communicating this because I want it to be real for you my grandkids, my kids my brothers and sisters in Kenya my brothers and sisters in Ghana and whomever else this benefits see you know the Old Testament is not an old book that is not relevant today it is rich full of principles of how we're to look at each other and God. You can say you love God, but if you can't get along with your tribes, other tribes, how, how, how is that a demonstration of the love of God? I'm of the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Judah only. So the tribe of Ephraim, Manasseh, Dan, Ishakar, Reuben, Naphtali, I, I don't have to deal with them. They're the lost tribes. If you go online and look them up, they're the lost tribes. As though they're not relevant. How, how can we treat each other like that? How is that even feasible that you think that you're of God and yet you don't recognize all of his people? <laughs> Just amazing to me. Walk in the kingdom of God. Don't walk in your religion. His principles rule and reign here on earth. That's what ushers in the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus is my Lord and Savior, by the way. But it's by demonstration, not by preaching only. Love covers. Cash App Dollar Sign Mr. Paul Dozier. Cash App Dollar Sign Mr. Paul Dozier. We are on a journey from Genesis to Revelation. I do not know how long it's going to take. Uh, but uh, thank you for taking a journey, journey with us. If these videos are helpful to you, they will be helpful to other people. So please like, share on whatever platform you are hearing this information. I would gladly appreciate it. And thank you for taking the journey with us.